everyone, welcome back. My name is Tom and this is TJCMN. Thanks in advance for tuning in today. And in this particular segment, I have another unboxing for you all of the Acer R240HY 23.8, which is basically 24 inches practically, IPS LCD monitor, which is compatible with HDMI, DVI, and VGA and is available over on Amazon for a relatively decent deal since I remember its original MSRP way back when was around $200,199 and now it's actually I think the standard price is now $149.99 or basically $150 as of March of 2022. So if you're interested in getting something along this line or something that is, you know, on a budget but still able to provide you with the productivity of a second display in the case of myself or even a single display if you're using a desktop. I have a Zenbook which I use a lot of times for my daily driver and this will help for sure especially with my back posture and I think that's something that I can even talk about in its own particular segment and the you know value of having equipment that actually encourages you to have the best sort of you know physical health and well-being. You know, I mean, listen, you obviously, when you're on the computer, you're a little bit more sedentary. I try to exercise every day as well, but when you are using your devices, there's a way to maximize not just your personal comfort, but your personal health. And I'll talk about that and other people have in another segment, which I think is just something, you know, it's interesting food for thought. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and save the rest for later. So here we have really quickly the monitor. And again, I'll link the display which I actually got a few months ago, but haven't had the chance to unbox until right now, actually, because I've been pretty busy, but here it is. And uh, I was gonna sneeze. I think this, uh, my allergies are coming in. Sorry, guys and gals. Here you go with the display. And we have the box, which it came in. And I'll just cut open. Actually, really quick, let me show you guys and gals how rude of me what it looks like. I obviously took out my information, which was a mistake. I didn't actually do, uh, which I didn't actually, uh, you know, I've waited in this segment, but made in a past one, which fortunately I was able to rectify going forward, but I'm going to have to edit out, or I might have just included, depending on, it's a very old segment that I haven't gotten to editing it. I've been quite busy, but I just figured it'd be interesting to mention that, you know, it's good to learn. Every mistake's a lesson worth learning take it in strides or make it have a negative impact on you. It's all about your way of approaching it. Here we go. Like right now, how I'm trying to open this box, but dang, ugh, I ripped part of it open so much for being super careful, but here we go. I might as well just tape here. Counted as part of a impromptu ASMR, I guess. I mean, I know I had to mention before how I know a bunch of people were interested in those. That wasn't intended, and it was kind of ironic, but at least we're still getting to the product. Now, I hope I won't mess up further by dropping it as it's contained in a styrofoam cushion. So when it was being shipped and handled, it wasn't going to be damaged. So you want to be very careful with these. Fighting with this box right now, so you all can tell. Here, be careful. Here's the box. Put that aside. And now we have the contents. What we've been waiting for. We have the user manual, instruction guide, limited warranty. We don't need that though. We're geeks. We know how to do all these things. They're kind of self-explanatory. You've got here now. VGA cables and then you have over here is the part that you use to plug into the wall for the electric cable 
socket. You have the AC part for the adapter that you connect to this together. And then you have, this is for the, uh, this is the arm for the monitor, which you have. And then you have the base for the monitor, which we'll show you right over here. You have that. And then you have the arm, which I believe you just pop open like this. It's like Legos kind of in a way, once you've done it a few times, which is, is definitely not my first, probably not my last unboxing of a monitor. It's something relatively mundane that if you have had for a while, you might even take for granted, but it's something that really does, if you don't have one especially, make the difference when it comes to being able to maximize your productivity. And this second screen will definitely be something that I'm looking forward to using. The styrofoam. Uh, let's see. You have the adapter, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure I don't undo any screws. I'll set that up in a second, the stand. And we have this. Yes, this is for the wall. Definitely going to need to extend it outwards. And we have this. Into the wall, and you have the VGA cable, which I think I'm gonna use. Actually, now I'm, I'm gonna actually keep this one closed. This is a VGA. I mean, I'm sure you've seen all what a VGA is like. Let me open it to show you a little bit, because I'm gonna probably use HDMI or VDVI to hook it up, because it's better quality to the uh, ZenBook and my girlfriend's MacBook Pro, which she likes to use to play League. This will be a good addition for her to play League of Legends, which I've taken a long break from in video games in general. But this is the DVI cable, and let me not make a huge mess. Last but not least, you have the display. Yeah. Look at this beauty. Play itself. You can definitely tell this is brand spanking new. I got to try to get my oily hands all over this. But you take a look at this. Back with all the different places you can put the inputs in. But yeah, that was the unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Sorry for the brief little detour in between trying to get the arm together. But if you had, please make sure to give your video a thumbs up, subscribe, check out the links down below. And then also make sure to you know click the bell notification so you don't miss out on future segments. And I'll catch you all soon. I'll make a review and obviously use this to increase the productivity and overall quality of my content here. So yeah, I'll catch you all in the next segment I make real soon. For now, thanks for tuning in again and peace out.